is taken at the three. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it. And that's what you don't want to do. Here's the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Tackle there going to Marshawn Lattimore. You don't see that a ton, do you? Or the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Throwing on second down. Watson. On the left side, a catch by White. 15 yards on the play, first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys to continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. On second and 12, Watson under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Lightning speed that time for the corner. Marshawn Lattimore getting the sack. And he was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Flushed out right. And he's going to go down again. The tank, Demarcus Lawrence with a sack. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They are going for it. Here's Watson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Randy Moss, 79 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Jaguar touchdown. Marcus Allen 
77 yards. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but if they make them out of bounds, that does you no good. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Watson on third down. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. Now Watson, flush to his right. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive game. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. The sack that time by Michael Strahan. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. A two-yard game. It's fourth down. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. They're going for it. It's Watson. Eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The 2017 All-Pro Darius Slay there in coverage, knocking it away. Well, that, my friend, I guess is the definition of a head-scratcher. Fourth and long, this stage of the game, what were they doing? I just have to believe that he, he looked at the situation, still in the first half, decided if there's a time to be aggressive, now was it, because there's still time to make up for it if things don't go right. Of course, a lot of questions on this one, and look, I want to go for it as much as anyone. But fourth and long? Yeah, I don't think I would have there. That one seemed a little bit on the irrational side. Fans might be a little angry at that one. Here's a quick hitch route, and the throw complete. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 19 yards there on the catch and run. They'll run on first down. It's Allen. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Marcus Allen with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. 
Lutz with the extra point. And it's now 21-7. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at his four. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Throwing again on second down. Watson. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. 16 yards, a first down. Watson. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Able to find Harris complete. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. And they keep those sticks moving forward, that time with a gain of three. Flushed out right. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. To throw again on second down. Watson escaping the pressure right. And this is caught at the eight. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. To throw is Watson. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. The free safety Malik Hooker there in coverage. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter. A lot of time to change things. This is caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. The Jets on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Demarcus Lawrence able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. Here we go on fourth. Watson, and it's caught. He's going to be stopped shy of the end zone. They get the completion but cannot push forward into the end zone, and it'll be a turnover on downs. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. You've got under a minute to go here until halftime. you got the good size lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no need to do anything crazy. The smart play, go ahead and take your lead into the locker room and then try and add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and says, first half going my way. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Marcus.